Welcome back to the State Open of Virginia. Sponsored by Estes. Welcome back to the final round of the 2024 State Open of Virginia here at Independence in Midlothian. 18th hole, you are looking at Sam Beach, a local here to Central Virginia, playing out of Hermitage Country Club, getting ready to hit his second shot approach at the par 4 18th. Sam's been at or near the top of the leaderboard pretty much all week here. Yeah, I went out and watched Sam hit some practice balls yesterday, and watching him hit practice balls is like watching somebody practice breathing. It looks so easy. I, he was, of course, the 2023 BSGA Golfer of the Year, and for good reason. He is one heck of a player. As we mentioned, 18 is the playing as the third hardest hole this week. Tees have been pushed back a little bit by the folks here at Independence. It now plays to a length of 465 yards from the tips. Ball on its way. And Robert, as you mentioned, that section of the green right there is pretty much a bailout for some of the guys that aren't necessarily looking to fly it right at the pin. Yeah, unless you've got, unless you really power to drive out there to where you've got a wedge or maybe a, a soft nine iron in here, that's still a very difficult hole location to go after. Beach is playing with the defending champion, Connor Burgess, who just eagled the 17th hole. And Robert and I were talking in the break just before we came out. 17 is playing at 625 yards this It's week. got some teeth to it. It is one <laughs> heck of a par five and got a lot of scattered trouble on your way to the green. So for even for these guys who are hitting as long as anybody can hit, uh, an eagle is probably the result of some sort of chip in from the fairway or you know maybe 75 yards out or something like that. You got to get you got to have a little more than a little luck to score like that on a hole like that. Now, I went out and watched some guys play that hole earlier today, and guys were bombing tee shots, bombing second shots, and still weren't getting there in two. And the hole location is all the way in the back left of the green, up over a ridge. So the chances of getting a ball anywhere near that hole location in two are pretty slim. Independence not only is hosting the men's state open this year, but it also hosted the second annual women's state open in Virginia last month. Here's look back at how that turned out. Earlier this summer, the VSGA held their second annual Women's Open of Virginia right here at Independence. Michelle Cox, a rising senior at Penn State, found out about the tournament from her college coach who encouraged her to enter, and Cox is happy she did. A second round 67 propelled her to a five-shot lead heading into the final round. Her lead grew to seven strokes at one point, leading to a final score of seven under and a seven-shot victory. Cox, who had her father on her bag for the week, was the only player to be under par for two rounds and finished with 12 birdies and an eagle despite only hitting 10 fairways over the three rounds. And then we had some some interesting shots so a lot of just strategizing and you know trying to make the most out of what we had that day and we were able to get another round under par which was all I all I could ask for. The greens are a challenge. There's a lot of ridges they're running really nice. They're beautiful but the there's a lot of ridges um, which makes it really hard to read so it, it's fun. It makes it fun and especially I mean they were reacting really firmly. They were kind of like concrete. So it, you know, especially with how much I was in the rough, um, it's kind of fun to have to plan your way around where you're going to land stuff to get it to, to get it to be close. I mean, after the first day, you looked at the board. There was you know seven people at each number. That's that's a really good field. So I'm really thankful to be able to you know do so well here. So Ms. Cox, from seeing this course for the first time, talked about all the ridges on the green and how much fun it was. Have you ever seen someone win a three round tournament with hitting only 10 fairways total off the tee? That's impressive. That shows a <laughs> lot of grit and a lot of resolve to be able to get around here and do that because the greens are difficult. And you know, if you're not hitting greens out here, not hitting fairways or greens, it can be a very long day for you. So that my hat's off to her. That's impressive. We, she is also, she's a rising senior at Penn State. She had not had 
had a chance to meet Penn State men's basketball coach Mike Rhodes yet, who obviously spent a lot of time here in the Richmond area as an assistant and a head coach at Randolph-Macon College and then an assistant and a head coach at VCU. So we told her when she gets back to State College, she needs to go find Coach Rhodes and say, hey, I just won in your backyard because Mike is also a, a big golf fan as well. Don't know how much he gets a chance to play, but he might he be a little busy. Fan. This is Beach for his birdie. Very yeah. slippery putt going down that hill, sliding slightly to the player's right. Kind of a defensive putt. You can't really get too aggressive on that one. Beach will have that to finish up a round of four under 67. Really, yesterday he played even par 71. And most of us watching, most of us here, not three-time champs like Mr. Wren, but most of us would be thrilled to play even par, but that really took away some of the steam out of his sails, especially when everybody else you're playing against just puts up red numbers everywhere. No doubt. He opened up with a great round and, and you know, shooting even par yesterday. He knew he had to go out and play a great round today. He's played a very good round, but not the great round like Jay Woodson. This is Adam Hooker for his birdie from about the same distance, but a slightly different angle. And he will leave that just short. Same thing with Mr. Hooker, find himself in the next to last group, but he's at even par today and just could never get enough forward momentum. If he finishes that up, that will be a second round of 71 here this weekend. Sandwiched around a four under 67 through the rain on Saturday. Maybe if he could have ordered a little more rain today, maybe his number would have been a little lower. And we should mention that Connor Burgess is the third member of this group. And Burgess, the defending champion, obviously, he has put his approach in there very nicely for a birdie attempt for him. And coming off that eagle on 17, that would be a terrific finish for him. just going to slide by for Hooker, who will finish with a 1 over 72 today. And a 3 under round, 3 under final score for him. Now Mr. Burgess has just about 4 feet left for this birdie. Four under 67 today for our defending champ, Connor Burgess. He will finish at nine under par for the championship. Won't get a chance to repeat, but still a very strong showing. He has to catch a plane tomorrow morning for a Monday qualifier on the Corn Ferry Tour tomorrow. He's headed to Chicago first thing in the morning. These are busy guys. Brandon Berry, of course, leaving here after after the tournament today to head up to yep. the 3M Championship on the PGA Tour to try to Monday qualify there tomorrow. So there's uh, no resting on your laurels around here. That would be the fourth Monday qualifier if he is able to win it for Berry this year. We'll take a break right Right now, when we come back, we will wrap up the final round of the 2024 BSGA State Open of Virginia right after this.